Okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hum, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Mom, can I marry whoever I want? No. Why would you and why would you want to? Don't you think that daddy and I have figured it out? Like do you like you're gonna find somebody on your own and then do what? It's well, gonna be a mistake, you know. I'll that. fall in love with them and marry them. Oh my god, you did not use the L word. You know love doesn't last. You know what the saying is in life? Love makes you blind. Why you want to be blind when we are there to give you the vision? But you've been married to dad for 23 years. Yes, and look how much happy we are. Look how much happy we are. We don't even say a word to each other. We are so happy. <laughs> you know, love doesn't last. So let's see. Um, someone says love is feeling is not um, trust, honesty, loyalty, and respect. Yep. Respect, uh, respectful. Um, someone else says, imagine the advice um, an American mom would give Indians, Russians, Muslims, and non-American heritage, low divorce rates. Mm -hmm. uh, see, I didn't do Red Morgan. Yeah, man. So um, we can kind of come in uh, first before we go into the comment. But man, that's why I always say, man, like if, if, if somebody's doing something better than we are doing as a culture, we need to go and do them. Like, like she said in the comment, they have low divorce rates. So if we, unless we don't think divorce is a problem, right? You know, we we should do we should do what they actually are doing, right? Um, because we always thinking like everything's supposed to be a fairy tale, everything is gonna be so perfect, everything is gonna be so good. When it's not, you're gonna have hard days, you're gonna have good days, right? But you're gonna have to get through it. I don't I don't have those same issues because I'm not looking for my wife for me to feel love for my wife and all that type of stuff. i just I want her to be loyal, respect me. That's it. And and we'll we'll figure the rest of the shit out, you know what I'm saying? So because you know what I mean we have so much stuff, things to do, and if if person is you got to feel loved and doing all this type of stuff, you put too much on a person. Now they're gonna get tired, and then now when they can't fulfill that, you're gonna be like, oh well, you're not appreciating me now. Now you gotta go, right? When you're supposed to be just holding it down first and be with that person for the, for for your life eternity, because that's what the vows was was made for. You know what I mean? But a lot of people they just want to just. Have fun, 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 fun every day. They don't want the monotony every day of doing the same things over and over, right? But we had to get out of that stupidness and do what these other coaches are doing because obviously they winning, and then now um, they they have better outcomes financially, families, uh, crime. You know what I mean? In communities, they have all these different things because they have that family structure together. So, yeah, that's the. What do you think about that video? I don't know. She, can, I mean, I can't have mixed feelings. She said that her father, her, 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 her husband been married for 23 years. They barely speak to each other. That's true love. I don't get it. Yeah. Now, so I, know I, every, now I know every culture is different, but I know out here in America, if you two stop talking for some time, I'm going to look at y'all and wonder what's going on here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe they just do things differently. She looks like she's about Middle Eastern descended or whatever. Maybe they, maybe they, do things differently in some country, but they say they, they don't they don't talk as much. I'm gonna wonder what's going on here. So I, I kind of had mixed feelings about that, but I do yeah. appreciate the fact that she's trying to tell her son don't go rushing into anything. And you know, she was she was in all that, she, that he used the L word. I guess for a woman that he barely knew. I don't know. I needed more context, but based on what I saw, like she's trying to guide him in the right direction. And, you know, for her to be married herself, she better know a lot about love and what it is, because she got it from that from, from her husband, the boy's father. So hey, yeah, I was so saying that. Big on that. Yeah. So I think what she was getting from, because when we first seen that video, um, my, uh, my wife here, she was like, she was like, what? And she started laughing about it. At first, kind of like we said, we mean, we yeah. don't talk. I was like, if I don't talk to you. We Problem. <laughs> yeah, but but what I told her is is like they have um a unspoken communication. Yeah, I got it later. I was like, I think she probably just saying like you know they don't have to talk, they, yeah. but they happy like but they you, still happy without speaking because they have like this deeper connection. You ever been like you you play sports growing up, hustler? Did I do what now? You play sports growing up? I played basketball in junior high. That counts. Yeah. 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 So. You ever like knew like you just had to like look at somebody and they know what to do. They know to cut. They know when to, uh, when you was trying to get them to do something and you didn't have to say it because you didn't want to give it away. I think it's, she was kind of talking like that, right? So 
like especially oh. like football or basketball or different sports, you can kind of like make them do a move, and then now all right, they straight. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 why I think she was kind of um talking. They got an unspoken communication, and they on one accord. Oh well, that that makes sense when you put it like that. They say actions speak louder than words, so I guess that kind of sums it up. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't exactly. think of it like. And when I was playing basketball, yes, my t- my captains and co captains that's kind of what they did. They looked at us like, you know what to do. I got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. Same thing yep. with the coach. It's like, hey, hey, son, you know what to do. You know what to do. We've been through this doing drilled. Remember your training, stuff like that. When I was in the military, remember, remember your training. You know what to do. Exactly. That kind of thing. I was going to use that, too, as well. But um, a lot of, you know, we only like 1% of the population. So I know a lot of people probably wouldn't be able to kind of um, understand that. But yeah, man, like like that that unspoken communicate is levels to communication, right? And I think the unspoken one is like one of the highest um, forms of communication because once you already know, so especially like say if I come home and my wife already know I want want it to, to get done or what I wanted to do or I need a massage, and because a lot of times some people might think you you don't want to beg for somebody to do something, you just want to you don't want them to just come and do it sometimes, right? And that's just like it just. Especially you feel more appreciative. Oh, wow. She already knew I want to do this. Or she like, oh, wow. He already, he already knew I, I needed a foot massage or something like that. It's just, you know what I mean? that It just gives you like that happy feeling type of deal. So, Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Make, makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, okay. Let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt. This ain't a phone. Grind never stopping. I'm keeping it cold.